In this problem, we're going to find dy dx, which is the derivative of this. So we have a product. We have e to the 2x times all of this stuff. So we have two ways to do it. We can just uh, differentiate right away using the product rule. Or we can distribute and use the product rule twice. Let's go ahead and just um, differentiate right away. Before we do, let me refresh your memory on the product rule. The product rule says if you have a function f times a function g, and you want to take the derivative of this product, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here this is our f, and this giant thing here is our g. So let's do it. So dy dx, which is just the derivative of y with respect to x, it's the derivative of the first. So for the derivative of e to the 2x, you have to use the chain rule. Keep in mind that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside function. Well, the inside function is 2x and its derivative is 2. So that would be the derivative of the first. And then times the second, so 2 cosine of 3x. Just leaving it alone, we're just writing it again. This is our g plus 3 sine 3x. So the derivative of the first times the second plus the first, so e to the 2x times the derivative of the second. So now we have to take the derivative of each of these pieces. So the number will hang out. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is two times negative sine of three x. And then chain rule times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is three x, and so its derivative is three. Plus, the three hangs out. Derivative of sine is cosine, so cosine of 3x times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of 3x is 3. Let's just double check that. That was a lot of work. So from the beginning, the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside, which is 2. So this is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first, which is e to the 2x times the derivative of this beast. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we get negative sine 3x, and then chain rule gives us a 3. Derivative of sine is cosine, so we get cosine 3x, chain rule gives us a 3. Let's clean up this huge mess. So dy dx, I'm going to use a different, uh, more fun color. Let's go with blue. And let's just distribute and clean everything up. So we're going to do this times this. It's going to give us 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 4e to the 2x. I guess I could have pulled out an e to the 2x too. Oh well, too late. Uh, cosine, we can still do it this way. 3x, this might be better. And then this times this is going to give us 6, right? So 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 e to the 2x sine 3x. Oh, look how pretty that is. And now we'll do this times this. That's going to give us a negative 6, 6 because of a 3 and a 2 and a negative. So negative 6 e the 2x. Oh wow, look at this. This is really exciting. Oh, this is rigged. <laughs> and then I have not done this problem. And then this times this. So it's going to give us 9. That's how I, you know it's right when something like this happens. You know, you get that feeling like, yes, I did it right. Stuff is going away. Look at that. Beautiful. So these cancel because they're exactly the same. So dy dx is equal to 4 e to the 2x cosine 3x and then we have 9 9 e to the 2x uh, cosine 3x I don't know why I didn't combine these uh, now we're going to combine them we have 4 of them plus 9 of them so dy dx it's going to give us 13 e to the 2x cosine 3x and that would be the final answer so a little bit of a longer problem. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.